In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the Bananagon Sniper Bot. Now, if you're yet to try out Bananagon, I'll actually include an invite link in the description down below. And when you click on that link, you'll get taken to this Telegram bot where we can start setting up Bananagon for ourselves. So you first need to click start down here, and then you'll see this message where we can start setting up a wallet. So all we have to do is simply click create wallet. And from there, we can either import an existing wallet or create a new wallet. Now, I'm assuming most of you are going to want to set up a new wallet so that we can use it just for sniping. So I'm going to go ahead and click create wallet. And from there, you just want to name your wallet. So I'm just going to call it sniper wallet and then click enter. Now, from there, the first message that we will receive will actually show our private key. But I just deleted that message because obviously I don't want people accessing my wallet. But you can use that private key to put it in MetaMask or any other type of wallet. And that means instead of just being able to access your funds via this Telegram bot, you'll also be able to add it to your actual wallet you can use. And it's also a good idea to keep note of that private key because if you do lose access to this Telegram bot, you'll also lose access to that wallet. So from here, we need to actually fund the bot with some Ethereum. So what we can do is go to settings and then you just want to copy your wallet address here and you want to send at least 0.1 Ethereum over to your account. And once you have actually sent some Ethereum, we can go back and then click settings again we should now see our balance updated right here. So from here, you can go back and I'll now show you how to use the auto sniper. So to get it started, you can simply click on it. And then from here, we want to enter in the token address, which we're trying to snipe. So what we can do is paste a token address in here. Now from here, it will ask us the max spend per wallet. So let's just say I didn't want to spend much Ethereum. I could do 0.001 and then click enter. From there, we can choose the auto snipe tip. And the higher we put this, the higher chance we have of our transaction going through. And from here, we've set up the snipe and we've got a few different settings down here. So if you have first bundle or fail enabled, that means banana gum will always aim to be the first buy when trading begins. But it's recommended to have 10 participating wallets for this to work effectively. Now from here, we can choose the slippage, but since we're trying to snipe, we're probably going to want to keep it unlimited. And the rest of the settings, we can leave the same. Now from here, we can either wait for the token to launch and then it will snipe it automatically. Or if we decide we don't want to snipe it anymore, we can just go down and click cancel. Now next up's the manual buyer, and this is just a way of buying coins like you normally would. But it makes it a lot faster because we can use this Telegram bot interface. So we can click on that and then paste in a token which we want to buy. From there, we'll be able to see important information about the coin as well as if it's safe to buy. And if we decide we do want to buy, we can click any of these buy buttons down here to actually buy the coin. And we also have some cool settings for this such as anti-rug. And also transfer and blacklist, which can be really useful for stopping us from getting rugged of our money. Now, when you have actually bought a coin, this buy interface will change to a sell interface, which will actually allow you to sell your coins. So just like how we can buy a certain amount of Ethereum, we'll be able to sell a certain amount of percentage of that coin. Now, from here, we can go to settings and this will allow us to edit all sorts of settings within our wallet and the bot. So, for example, we can choose preset settings. And this will basically change those amount presets that we can see when we're buying a coin. So if 5 Ethereum was too much, for example, we could click on this and change it to 3.5. And from there, it will now update to 3.5. Now, most of these settings should be pretty good. And if you're fairly new to sniping, I'd recommend keeping them the same. But if you've got some experience and you know what to change, it could be a good idea to go through all of these settings and see what's optimal for your setup because everyone will be trying to use this bot a little bit differently. And from there, you should now know how to use a banana gun sniper bot. As I said earlier, I'll include an invite link down in the description below. And if you click on that link, you'll be able to begin setting up a wallet and start using banana gun sniper bot today. So I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching.